I remember sitting in my prac class in front of a microscope and through the lens of this microscope is an entirely different world made up of immune cells and they were working together to fight this population of tiny microbes that was there to cause an infection. And that single moment sparked this lifelong curiosity and passion for immunology. My name is Siming Man. I'm an immunologist and a professor at the Australian National University. My work has uncovered how the immune system controls inflammation. And based on our research into inflammation, we are able to take the best and active part of the immune system and turn them into drugs. We have found that some drugs can be used to kill superbugs. We have found that other drugs can be used to inhibit or stop inflammation, so we can use it to prevent sepsis and cancer. So our research into the immune system allows us to create new medicines in the hope to cure diseases. I came to UNSW as an 18-year-old who was lost and didn't know who I was meant to be or where I belonged. And in those six years I spent at UNSW, it wasn't just the degrees I was getting, I was learning to find myself, my purpose, and my role in society. And I think that's a powerful gift from UNSW. I remember during my summer internship and my honors year at UNSW, my supervisors and mentors really provided this first-hand experience to teach me what it's like to be a scientist and a mentor. And so they are my role models and they're my inspiration. And I'm really proud to see my first PhD student graduating just a few years ago. Being a good mentor is a challenging task because there's no one way to become a great mentor. It's about listening to the students and the people around you. It's about being patient and it's about understanding what they want out of the experience. So I try to sit down with my students and understand what they really want and think about how I can contribute to every aspect of their development, including being a great scientist, but also being able to think critically about their results and how to communicate their results to the widest possible audience. Outside the lab, I love um, visiting the nature and visiting the beach um, because it really calms me down and make me forget about science. And the quietness of the nature and the beach really helps me think um, long term where I want to be. From that initial moment of looking down the microscope, I realized that dreaming big and trying to understand the human immune system allows me to visualize where I want to be. Answering big and difficult scientific questions is very time consuming. But they are the questions that could also make a big impact. I never thought it was possible to become a full professor at the age of 33, but dreaming big made that a reality.